Hi, thank you for joining me once again here at Lawline. My name is Harlan York. I'm an immigration attorney with 17 years of experience practicing in all areas of immigration law. It's my pleasure to be with you once more for this seminar where today we're going to be talking about a very important topic, asylum, with some serious concentration on gang-related and other activity. Before we get into the subject matter of today's lecture, I'll just tell you a tiny bit about myself. As I say, I've been doing this for about 17 years. It's the only type of law I've ever practiced. I find it interesting that in a world, or rather a country, world with millions of attorneys and a country with over a million lawyers, there's still probably no more than one or two percent of the overall population of attorneys in the United States who practice in immigration law, and even less who handle something as complex as political asylum work. My goal is really to do two things today. Number one, I'd like to make sure that those of you out there who've never done or done very little asylum work get a good overview of this type of work. And when I say asylum throughout this seminar, I'm going to be talking about the related forms of relief as well, withholding of removal, convention against torture, things of that nature. But I may just continuously refer to it as asylum. Don't worry about it. For now, just understand that we're talking about what I often refer to as sanctuary relief. And the second thing we're going to do is really talk about claims based on gang-related and other activity. And with that, we'll talk right away about political asylum. Political asylum, generally speaking, an applicant for political asylum is an individual who must show that he has suffered persecution or has a well-founded fear of future persecution. The characteristics for which this person has been persecuted or will be persecuted must fit into at least one of five enumerated grounds, which we'll talk a lot about throughout, particularly two of those five in relationship to the gang claims. And persecution that the person fears must have been accounted by or on account of a protected characteristic. Citations throughout the proceedings today, throughout today's presentation, are provided along with the materials on screen. I may occasionally refer to a citation in the Immigration Act or in the 8 U.S. Code or a particular case. If I don't, it's there for you. And I'll give you my phone number right now and I'll try to do this at least one more time throughout the hour, which is 973-642-1111. I've fielded calls in other cases when I've done CLEs like this for Law Line. I'm always happy to talk to practitioners out there. People have called me from all over the United States when I've done past um, presentations and I'm more than happy to answer anybody's questions.